That's a bite. There we go. Whoa, that's a good one, man. <laughs> Look at that run. That's a hefty kingfish there, dude. What's up guys, welcome back to our videos so today. It's June 30th, 2020, and here I am on the beach. We're out here, guys, you can see it's around seven o'clock right now, and I got my little kingfish rod back there with some blowers and some sweet fish, and I gotta work at 10, so it's pretty tranquil out here. Just gonna cast out and see what I can get. There's been a lot of kingfish around, a few croakers, so you never know you'll catch out here, especially on bloodworm. Pretty much everything eats a bloodworm, so. We'll see what happens, guys. Hopefully catch some fish. Got a few hours, so we'll see what happens, guys. Gonna be doing catch and release today. Got plenty of tuna uh, in the fridge and in the freezer. So just gonna be a little catch and release action today. See what I can catch out here. And I'll see you guys on the GoPro. Gonna toss that on. Gonna throw throw the line out, and we'll see what happens today. Should be a good video. See what's up. All right, guys. So the technique of the day. Like I said, it's gonna be a little kingfish ray we got right here. Got a few bloodworms. We're just gonna be using real small pieces with these guys. Don't have any scissors. I did bring a knife, but I mean, they're pretty easy to just rip. But just using small pieces like that, maybe an inch, inch and a half at the most. And we're just gonna thread that guy on there. Hook it a few times, to make sure it stays on. Same thing with the other half. Sweet, and then last step. Of course, you gotta go with the fish weights right here. These are old, I obviously need to get a new pack. These things are super shriveled up, but they'll last you forever. Just cutting up a real small piece of those. And then just tipping that hook right there with one of these little guys. And that'll serve as a little bait holder right there. It's got a little mesh inside, so it'll make sure the bait doesn't slide off the hook when it gets bombarded by kingfish. Plus, it always works as a good bait as well just by itself but I like to use it in combination with a blood worm and there we go there's a little rig Bakuma Pixar 7.6 star rod that a little aqua clear kingfish rig love these guys just because they have the circle hooks so I can just sit back and relax on the beach and not have to worry about missing fish because they have circle hooks and the fish pretty much hook themselves and we don't need to cast out that far so I'm not gonna wait out that far plus this rod cast absolute mile and that should be good just be on the breakers and pretty much cast all the line off my spool. But there we go, we're all set with that guy. Uh, keep it dragging, medium tension, only to too loose because we're not gonna be catching anything too big and we're just gonna sit in here. I'm just gonna sit back and relax and watch the rod. If the bite really picks up, then I'll jump on the rod and just hold it, but there we go. That was a bite already, dude, oh my God. Talk about quick action. <laughs> First cast, instant fish, man. I mean, I didn't even need to hesitate for that. Oh, I might have popped off. Oh no, he popped off, dang it. All right, well. Just gonna bomb that back out there and get another bite pretty soon, I hope. We'll see. I thought that's it and see if we can get another bite real quick. That's a bite, there we go. Whoa, that's a good one, man. <laughs> Look at that run. That's a hefty kingfish there, dude. Not a brute, but still a decent fish. What oh, he hit like a tank. There he is. A little northern kingfish right here. Sweet, we're actually gonna be a southern right now, yeah. That's a little southern kingfish right there. You can tell by the not, by the unpronounced banded stripes. The northerns have much darker, much more prominent stripes. Here we go guys, first fish of the day. A little southern kingfish right there guys. Cool little fish, first one of the day. Let's send him back. All right guys, here we go. A little kingfish sending him back. Hopefully these guys are pretty hardy. Looks like he's good. Get him back out in the wash. To eat another blob worm another day, so. Yeah, it's doing catch and release right now. 
I have had plenty of fish the past few days from that offshore trip. Plenty of tuna, so I'm I'm full. My grandfather even calls them flounder, so we've just been eating the fish good. So practicing selective harvest today, catch and release. Only keep what you need. I'm not gonna kill every kingfish out here just because they're they're good to eat, but let's get some action. Finally, first surf trip of the year. It's not for drum, just a little early morning light tackle fishing for kingfish and pretty much just kingfish. There we go. Shouldn't be too long before we get in our bite. See what we, see what we get. A few moments okay. later. There he is, there he is, there he is. Dude, these guys slam it. That, the bite is like the most fun part about these little kingfish, man. They absolutely destroy the worms. Absolutely destroy them. And it's great every single time. <laughs> Dude, that hit was gnarly. <laughs> All right, buddy, come on, come on. There he is. The little guys, through the southerns just fight like tanks, man. A little southern kingfish right there would definitely make some good bait for some sharks but let's send them off there he is guys a little southern kingfish boom now we got rebate cast back out and rinse and repeat I'm not even gonna put the fish bite on right now just cuz I mean they're just annihilating I they're just hitting them so hard, they're knocking off your bait no matter what it is. So I'll plop that right back out there. Do not have to cast far at all for these guys. Literally, there's a nice trough right there that you can see, but it's high tide. There's a little sandbar out there, and they're just stacked up in between. So I figure as the tide goes down, and you guys can see I'm up there. As the tide goes down, um, the bite's going to slow down as the fish, I think, we're going to move out past the sandbar, and I won't be able to reach them anymore. But while they're right here, just gonna be slaying them, hopefully. It's the second one so far, um, like fourth bite. So two for four in the Little Kings. Should be a stellar day. It's a bite, it's a bite, it's a fish. Is he on there? I think so. Yeah, he's on. Little guy, man. Here he is. First northern kingfish of the day, guys. It's a good eater size right there, but like I said, just gonna be sending them all back. You guys can see they got the bigger, darker bands and they got that really tall fin. That's how you can tell it's a northern kingfish. We also get some some gulf kingfish up here occasionally. But yeah, there's the first northern kingfish. There he goes. They're just loaded out there. All right, back out. There we go. Got him. Got him. Took a little while. As you got, like I said, guys, as the tide's going out, the bite's going to slow down. But you can already see the waves starting to break out there. And uh, the kingfish just don't like to be in that rougher water. That's what I find. At least I like it when it's really calm and tranquil. Not going to complain. I think it's the fourth fish of the day. Like sixth bite. Nothing too huge, but it's just fun to bend a rod, get out here, and relax at the beach pretty much all to myself, no one else fishing around me. And uh, yeah, there he is, little kingfish. There we go guys, fourth kingfish of the day, second northern kingfish right there. These guys for their size put up a pretty decent fight and they're really cool to look at, so let's send them back. See you little kingy. Oh, wrong way bud, wrong way. There you go. Send them back, get out there. Hopefully he doesn't get eaten by a shark or caught by our fishermen. But that's the fourth one of the day, guys. Just gotta get another piece of bloodworm and uh, send it out there. Let's send this John back out there. Uh, I'm gonna try to stay away from the breakers on that side. Might be a little channel or something over here, hopefully. But wind's picking up, tide's going down. Not really the best factors for kingfish, but it's still pretty relatively calm out here. So hopefully we keep banging them throughout the morning. Got about an hour and a half, two hours left before we gotta send it home. 
or send it to work. So we'll see what, what we can do before them. There's a fish, there's a fish. Hoo-hoo, buddy. Smack that, John. There he is. Nice. Oh, not a bad one at all. There we go. Fish kingfish of the day, guys, right there. Another little northern kingfish. All right, let's send him back. See you, little buddy. Thanks for the fun fight. Ooh. Peace out. Fight's doing really good this morning so far. It's the fifth one in about an hour. I think we missed like three or four bites so far. So five for nine, five for eight, not that bad. Bites, bites doing really good. So just nice to get out here and catch some fish. Let's see what else today is in the store. All right, rebait and cast back out. Oh, cool guys, washing my hands off right there. Look what we found, a little tiny sand crab. Perfect size for a kingfish. So poor little buddy is not gonna be able to grow up and he is gonna be coming live bait for some kingfish. Maybe I'll get a giant. Perfect size for a little kingy right there, a little tiny, tiny sand crab. That's a bite, yeah baby, Woo. There he is, we're on, fish home. Here we go, a little kingfish. Oh, wow, real, real little guy. That's definitely a southern right there. You can tell by the milkiness on him. Like no, no hard contrasts on this guy. A little southern kingfish right there, neat. All right, see you, buddy. Yeah, it's probably gonna be a wrap here, guys. Um, tried to get a little, the last kingfish on camera for you. So I dropped him down, cast out the rod, see if I get another one real quick. I turned around, and he was gone, he swam out there. So I don't know what you're gonna do about that, but he's gone, he's out there swimming safe for someone to catch him another day, hopefully. Hopefully he stays away from those sharks. But uh, yeah, guys, um, really nice trip to this today. 9:40 now. I've been out here since like 6:45. Woke up at like I woke up at like 5:40. So I've been up for a while. Gotta go to work now. Was up late last night, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a long day. But I mean, I can't complain. I caught a bunch of fish. Finally got out here for first dedicated king fishing trip of the year. Just got some blubber, some riptide, some fish bites, and uh, yeah, I try the sand fleas. No luck with that experiment, but. At least we caught some fish. I think we got like 10 total kingfish in the final tally. And I think we missed probably like eight bites or so, but yeah, great day out here, guys. A lot more aerodynamic with this haircut. <laughs> it'll be it'll be a few months before it goes back to the luscious flow. But anyways, guys, I'll stop Brandon. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned for more videos coming up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.